Today I'm showing you how to create this trippy, creepy effect in Adobe After Effects. I was inspired by many makeup artists on Instagram who are very good at makeup illusions. So we're going to recreate this in After Effects. There's two main ways of doing it. The first way is without tracking in After Effects. So first let's link our footage to After Effects. Right click on my clip and I replace it with After Effects composition. For the first way, you don't need to track anything. So we're simply going to duplicate our clip. To duplicate, I do Ctrl D. And I'm going to duplicate another time to have both eyes in separate layers. On this one, I'm going to take the pen tool and I'll surround one of my eye. I'm just going to create a mask. So if I isolate this one, you'll see that this is all that there is on this layer. I'm going to go in mask and I'll change the mask feather to 30. So it's going to blend better with the face after. And I just repeat the same step with the other one. We could also rename them so it would be easier to work on it. I right click and rename. So now if I take my right eye, I can move it wherever I want. I can take the corner and if I press shift, it will retain the proportion. So if you see here, my mask kind of disappeared. So I'll have to open it go in mask path, click the little clock watch here, and then when it disappears, I make sure I'm on the little arrow thing. So with the selection tool, I select all my corners, and then you see it creates a little bullet. So I have to do it every time that the head moves. That little feather thing that we did really helps blend everything together. And if you see the outline of it, you can always just add more feather, and it will make it more subtle. All right, so just repeat the same step for the other eye. You might have to move your mask a little bit. Like see right now the nose goes on top of the eye at some point. So I have to adjust my mask path to make sure that it still looks like the eye is behind the nose. So now that this is done, we can simply duplicate whichever eyes we want. And then we can make them smaller. And we can also change the blending mode. You can go here in mode and you can choose soft light or other modes. And then you can place it in between some of the eyes. So I could just duplicate this one, place it there. Then this one I'm going to choose soft light. So it makes it really weird and trippy. So now we're pretty much the same on both sides. Some of them should go more on the side. And now I could also make a copy of the mouth. So I'm just going to duplicate the whole face. We take the pen tool and I'm going to roughly make a mask around the mouth. So this is going to be our mouth. Now I'm just going to make sure that my mask follows my mouth. So I'm going to go in mask. I'll add a little feather to it and I'll change the mask path. So I'm just going to go back to my selection tool, select my mouth and follow my mouth. So now that we have our mouth, I'm simply going to move it a little bit lower. Let's check what it looks like. If you want to like not see this part, you can just uncheck this. Yeah. So you see that we see a little bit of the shadow of uh, the feather. So I'm going to go in my mask path. I'll click the visibility to have it back. And at this particular point, I'm going to move it. You can also play with the opacity if you want to layer them. So that's how you can create the first way and if you want to make it even weirder you can add different effects from all the distortion effect here in the effect and presets. I'm going to add a new adjustment layer so I go in layer new adjustment layer and on this layer I would add my effect so it, it will affect my whole composition. So if I choose uh, this for example. If you like the effect of part 1, don't miss part 2 next week where I'm going to show you how to make something more precise using Mocha inside After Effects. Alright, let's make this thing a little bit weirder even. I just got this from Rampant Design Tools, it's brand new, I don't even know if it's out yet. And I'm gonna try to put our footage in this template. So simply going to open the template. There's a Mac and a PC version. It's very exciting. Okay. 
So that is with simply the split guns. So it creates chromatic aberration. And now I'm going to add my text. Ghosting. Oh, that's sweet. Look how fun this is. Now video noise. You see there's more contrast and more little noise. <laughs> that should be my real face. Overlay. Oh, sweet. There's some glitch overlays. Bottom frame distortion. Oh yeah, you see on the bottom here the little white glitch. Image distortion. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to see this from close. <laughs> Soften image. Okay, so this is before when it's sharp. And then it gets all blurry. VHS color desaturation. Match contrast. And the scan line. If you want more ideas of products you can use to change the look of your video, you can check in my review section in my channel and you'll see many products I've used that I really like. I'm a big fan of Retro FX. It's pretty neat, I just got it and I just saw it and I'm very excited. So you should check it out. I'm gonna leave the links in the about section. for watching. Share this video with your friends if you found it useful and give it a like. My name is Eva Landry from Eva Productions in Montreal and I make videos every week. See you soon!